Hallelujah. Greeting people of God. My name is Apostle Martin Motwiri. And I'm, I'm glad that you are watching me at this particular hour. Tonight I want to speak about the arrow of the Ron's deliverance. Or the Lord is concerned about your deliverance. He is concerned about the deliverance of your house, the deliverance of your business, the deliverance of even in your environment. The Lord cares about you. And in order for deliverance to take place, God uses his servant to avail that deliverance to you. The Lord uses an anointed person to avail that deliverance to you. He may use a prophet, an apostle, a pastor, evangelist, or a teacher of the word of God who carries a deliverance message to you, who carries a prophetic deliverance to your doorstep through that encounter. People of God, let us read the book of Second Kings, chapter number 2, verse number 19. Second Kings, chapter number 2, verse number 19. Here there was a place that needed healing and deliverance. Let's hear the word of God, what the Bible says. The people of the city said to Elisha, Look, our Lord. This town is well situated, as you can see, but the water is bad, and the land is unproductive. Watch this. Elisha comes to a town, that is, he, he lands into a, a new place, and they tell him, Do you know what, man of God? This is a good place as you can see. But the water is bad. They introduce to the man of God their problem. The root cause of their problem was the water. There are some spiritual problems that are physical evidence. There are some situations and challenges that are physical root cause. Now, they realize this servant of God is anointed. They did not even wait for the man of God to prophesy about the water. They said, we know our problem. We know what we are suffering from. This is a good place as you can see. But deep inside, there is water that is bad and it has made the rat unproductive. People of God, it is very important to understand what is your problem. What is the root cause of your challenge? When you realize the root cause of your problem, you are halfway to solving that problem. Even in the area of looking for deliverance, even in the area of encountering a man of God to deliver you through deliverance prayers. Listen to this. Verse number 20. The man of God says, Bring me a new bow, he said, and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out to the spring and drew the sword into it, saying, This is what the Lord says. I have healed this water. Never again will it cause death or make the rod unproductive. Then the water was remained pure to this day according to the word that Elijah, the man of God, spoke. The man of God said, Okay, if this is the root cause of your problem, I got some anointing that is a solution for your problem. Viewer, 
servants of God carry solutions for the problem of humanity. Jesus uses pastors, evangelists, teachers, prophets, and apostles to bring solution to the problem that human beings go through. He said, bring an bowl and pour salt in it. And then he poured it unto the source of the water. And he spoke prophetically, from today, this water is cured. And this rod is delivered from premature death and unproductivity. In simple, from today, no more death and the rod will be fruitful. Listen to me, a viewer. The Lord has anointed me for this hour, particularly in this broadcast. And I am speaking deep inside your spirit. Whatever is the root cause of your challenge, the root cause of your problem, let it come out in the name of Jesus. Let it come out in the name of Jesus. From today, no more suffering. No more death of your career. No more death of your loved ones. No more death of your business. No more death of your finances. No more death. Death brings head point. It's an head point to things. It is head point to progress. But remember, there we can speak prophetically and bring deliverance into the scene. We can bring the deliverance of the Lord into the scene, into the scenario. And God will move in that area. Watch this. Elisha, the man of God, after they told him, this is the problem. He said, I will speak in the name of the Lord and I will solve your problem. I will heal your lad. I will heal your water. And this problem will be normal. Remember they told the man of God, this is a good place. As you can see, it is a very, very pleasant place. But we have an inner problem. There are people that, outward appearance, they look very well. They have dressed very well. But deep inside, they are suffering. They have problems. They have sicknesses. They have marital crises. They have marital challenges. Outward appearance, they are smiling. But when they go back into their bedroom, when they go back into their house, they are in sorrow. They are in pain. They are in tears. They are in stress. The Lord has put me in this broadcast for this hour to speak to you. Your time of deliverance is now. Be healed from that unfavorable situation. Maybe it is your marriage that makes you to cry. Maybe there is a sickness in your body that makes you to cry. But the Lord has put it in my heart to release deliverance in your spirit. Whatever is holding you captive, whatever is the root cause of your challenge, I speak right now. Let it come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered. Be set free. Begin to rejoice. Because after the prophetic word has been released, something has to change for your happiness. Watch this. If you continue to read verse number 22, the Bible says, And the water remained pure to this day according to the word of Elijah that had spoken. A prophetic word can bring deliverance that is very effective and that is very final. Total freedom, total deliverance. A prophetic word. As you are listening and watching me this hour, I am speaking deliverance deep inside your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let us read the Bible in the book of 2 Kings chapter number 13. 
second kings chapter number 13 the bible uh, says in verse number 15 this is when king Jehoash of israel went to see prophet elisha because there was upcoming battle there was a problem there was a crisis people of god sometimes it is very important to look for an anointed servant of god anointed apostle anointed prophet anointed pastor anointed teacher of the word to deliver you from your bondage now the king Joash, the king of israel heard that there was battle that was coming and he was so much challenged he said let me go to this man of god prophet elisha he has a way out verse number 15 the bible says elisha said get a bow and some arrows and he said take the bow in your hands he said to the king of israel when he had taken it elisha put his hands on the king's hands open the east window he said and he opened it shoot elijah said he shot the arrow of victory the arrow of victory over aram elijah declared you completely destroy the aramanians at the afek then he said take the arrows and the king took them Elisha told him strike the ground he struck it three times and stopped praise be to god the king went to see the man of god because the battle from the almanians was coming and the man of god did it prophetically it he said to the king take a bow a bow and a harrow and then the man of god placed his hands on the king's hands it he said i'm holding you now shoot that arrow the king shot the arrow and then he said take the arrow and strike it to the ground three times and the king did so the man of god said you have victory victory is guaranteed there are some prophetic links that can happen through servant of god they might seem to be very simple they might seem to be just like a mere occurrence but deep inside they carry the spirit they carry your deliverance they carry your healing when the servant of god places his hands upon you you download from a spirit to your spirit and you are able to use his anointing to better your situation or to bring a solution to your to your challenge people of god allow the man of god that is sent to deliver you to heal you and to deliver you no matter how simple it may seem to be she may seem to be allow that person to deliver you from your situation the moment they place their hands upon you you are guaranteed for success you are guaranteed for victory in the name of jesus christ it's called the arrow of the lord's deliverance it was just an a, a simple prophetic symbol or prophetic act of using a arrow but the effect was felt at the bore at the battlefront or at the battle area and victory was guaranteed just through prophetic utterance tonight viewer i'm uttering prophetically i'm releasing prophetic utterance over you tonight may the lord deliver you from whatever is holding you captive may the lord deliver you from that cage of life deliverance from every cage of life that cage of disappointment let it loose you right now in the name of jesus that cage of sickness 
let it roost you right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Spirit of God come upon you now and deliver you from that bondage. Every chain that is tying your progress, let it be broken into pieces. Every handcuff that is holding you, let it be broken and be shattered into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bondage in the dream be broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak deliverance in your destiny. There are people that your destiny has been held captive. In simple, the life that you are living today is not your life. There was a spiritual exchange. Today you are living a life of no progress and that life is not yours. I am speaking as a man anointed of God for this hour. Receive your progress in your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people that are living right now. You have no job, you have no business, you have nothing to show. I am speaking deliverance. Within the next 90 days, receive total takeover in business, total takeover in the area of employment in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people that experience seasons of suffering, season of battles, but tonight the Lord has anointed me and I'm speaking to your situation. Receive victory. Receive victory. Your future is bright. You sing a new song in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord deliver you and do you good tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you are not born again. I would like to pray for you to receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, forgive me my sin and save me today. Deliver me from every bondage of sin that is hindering my breakthrough, that is hindering my blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today you are a new believer. May the Lord deliver you and set you free. Receive total restoration, total takeover in the name of Jesus. Keep watching this broadcast and the Lord will bless you. Watch my next broadcast and I know the Lord is going to deliver you. You can also write to me through the number there on the description or the email there on the description, apostomartinmutuelio at yahoo.com or you can come for a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter deliverance prayers here in Kenya, Rwai. And I'm going to pray for you and you're going to be set free because Jesus loves you and he is there for you. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 13 verse number 8. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The deliverance that he did at Capernaum, at Jericho, at Bethsaida, at Judea, it is still being done today through his servants, through pastors, through prophets, through evangelists, through teachers of the word of God. God bless you in Jesus' name.